The two great English, English biologists of the 19th century would be Richard Owen, the arch structuralist, and Darwin, the arch adaptationalist. And so they represented two totally different paradigms. Uh, Owen believed that the primal patterns in nature were the result of laws of form, and Darwin claimed that these primal patterns were once adaptive in ancient organisms. So it's a completely different. He said, he said they were adaptive things which were generated by natural selection in ancient organisms and then preserved for some reason in different lineages. So they had two entirely opposing causal explanations. Naturally, uh, Owen was um, on the outers from the Darwin camp, Huxley, uh, Lyell, Hooker and others. Um, and his, his ideas pose, of course, an exit, uh, as we perhaps discussed earlier, they pose an existential challenge to Darwin's theories. If Owen was right, Darwin is only restricted to explaining microevolutionary adap adaptational phenomena in nature, not the basic underlying bioplans. And so necessarily, when they opened the new Darwin Center in 2009, I think it was, in, in the, it, it, it was attached to Owen's uh, uh, museum in London, in South Kensington, the, the Natural History Museum, which Owen was the founder, actually. And they used to have his statue in a prominent place on a stair, above a staircase. And when they opened the new Darwin Center, they moved Owen away to a more obscure place in the museum, put Darwin's statue in the place of Owen, actually, which wonderfully symbolizes the contrast between these two worldviews and what an existential threat the own conception of nature poses to the Darwinian claims that everything's the result of natural selection. It's a beautiful, beautifully symbolic thing. I was very amused when I read it. And you can do those pictures in the Times and things of moving Owen statue. It had all these machines are so heavy <laughs> moving these statues around just to get Owen out the way. <laughs> the problem is that you can move the statue, <laughs> but the challenge of laws of form and structuralism remains, of course. And uh, in my view, it's starting to take traction in modern biology again.